problematic uh, area for students, which is another, other, and each other, how by the end of the lesson things will be clearer. Hi. Today's lesson is also grammar. And our lesson today is prepared by Mr. Ali Ababna and presented by myself, Amir. Today we are going to talk about another, the other, others, the others, each other, and one another. And why did we choose such a topic? because it's, it's always a problem for most of the students and my, my students in the class ask me to prepare a lesson about such a topic because it's a confusing one. They don't know when to use another, when to use the other, when to use others, when to use the others, and of course each other and one another. I hope by the end of this lesson that things are clearer. So we'll start by just defining these words and we'll say, we'll say that another, the other, others, and the others are pronouns. And later on we'll, we'll uh, find out that some of these words are also adjectives. Remember from our first term when we talked about pronouns and we said that pronouns are the words which are used in the place of a noun. And the most prominent Pronouns are he, she, it, they, we, you, uh, him, her, and so on. So these are the pronouns which you all know. But today we will realize that we have other types of pronouns which are another, the other, others, and the others. And we'll understand when to use each and will give more examples on everyone, each one of them. So first, the pronouns another and the other replace a singular noun. And when we say singular means one. So another and the other, they come in the place of one singular noun. Okay, when we say singular means one, like car, which is a singular noun, chair, a singular noun, man, singular noun, and so on. Let's have a look at this example. My uncle already has two wives, but he wants another. So we have here the word another, which came in the place of A third wife. So it, it's there in order to tell us that we are looking for another wife. Okay. Instead of you of saying another wife, which is going to be repetition of the same word and it's going to, to be like uh, boring for the person who's hearing it. So we say another. So instead of uh, having this word or this phrase, a third wife, we just use the word another. So if we look at this example, my uncle already has two wives, but he wants another. And this means if I remove the word another, I'm going to put a third wife. And of course, the word a third wife or a wife is a singular noun. So that's why I put the word another in its place. Let's have a look at another example. One of our home computers is broken, but the other works well. So here again, be careful that here I'm talking about one of the computers. Don't be distracted with the noun computers and that it is the plural. It's not the plural. I'm talking about one of these computers, okay? So it's only one computer. That's why I used is singular verb, okay? So, again, if I say, but the other, 
works well, then I will I will use the word the other to replace the word the second home computer. So the other or the other replaces the second home computer. Instead of saying the the second home computer, I just added or used the word or the phrase the other, which means that. Okay, and also look at the verb after the other, it's singular verb, works well. So from this example, we know now that the word another and the other replaces, come in the place of a singular noun. Also, the pronouns others with s and the others replace a plural noun. So again, plural means more than one. So remember this. If the word others or the others are pronouns in the sentence, then they replace a plural noun. Okay? So the, pr the pronouns others or the others they come in the place of a plural noun, more than one. Let's have a look at this example. The criminal escaped from three policemen, but others were in close pursuit behind him. So here, of course, the criminal escaped from three policemen. Policemen, this is plural noun, because we have three. And of course, policemen, the plural of policeman. But others were in close pursuit behind him. So others here replace more policemen. So instead of saying, but more policemen were in close pursuit behind him, I just use the pronoun others, which refer to more policemen. So here I can't say but other. If I say but other, then the person will understand or the person hearing will understand that I'm talking about only one policeman. So here others replaces a, a, a plural noun. In our case here, others uh, of course replaces more policemen. Okay. And again, what comes after it is a plural uh, verb, where. Let's have a look at another example. A few students wanted to keep studying, but the others demanded a break. And of course, the word demanded means they asked for, they wanted, demanded, okay? They wanted a break. So, again, the word the others, who will tell me replaces what? Okay, first of all, does it replace a singular noun or a plural one? Sure, it replaces a plural one because, of course, we said the others replace any plural noun. So in this case, the word the others or the pronoun the others replace, replaces the rest of the students. Because remember we said few students and of course the others mean the rest of the students. Okay, And few students here means some students. So some students want, uh, wanted to keep studying but the others demanded a break. The others wanted a break. Also, so uh, before we move on, remember we said that the, uh, the word other and another, they replace singular noun. Uh, the word the, or the pronoun uh, others and the others replace plural nouns. Okay? Now we have, if we have the plural pronouns are never followed by a noun. And the plural pronouns, the others or others, you can't put after them a noun. 
okay? So, are never followed means they can't, they, we can't put a noun after them. If we are using them in a sentence, they should be alone, okay, without another noun. Let's have a look at this example. Some mobiles are like mini computers, but others are not. Of course, other here, others replace mobiles. Okay, so I can't say others mobiles. I have to use others alone. Okay, but I should understand and I should know that others refers or replaces mobiles. Okay, so in, as we said here, that's why we put the word mobiles between brackets so that to tell you that you can't put, you can't use the word after the pronoun others. So whenever you find the plural, uh, plural uh, pronouns others or the others, you can't use noun after that, okay? Also, another example. Okay, the other example can be like, uh, the students are here, some of the students are here, but others aren't. So again, we can't say others students. I can't put noun after uh, the word others, okay? Now we will understand that also the word another can be an adjective, if it is used in a, as an adjective in the sentence. So we have the adjective another goes before a singular noun. So if I'm using another as an adjective, then it goes before a singular noun, comes before it. Okay, like, can I have another plate of Harris? So it means that I had one and I want another one. Okay, it's like I want to have two plates of Haritz. So that's why I used another and you'll have, as you see, the, the singular noun plate comes after it. So I used the word another, which is the adjective, before the noun plate. So again, it will be like that. Can I have another plate of Harris. Also, I can say, may I have another cup of tea? Or I can see, or I saw another uh, monkey jumping over the tree, and so on. So if I have another, and it's, it is used as an adjective, then what comes after it is a singular noun. Another example, we don't have another holiday before the end of the school year. And this is what we are dealing with this term. We don't have another holiday. All our holidays uh, are finished, okay? We took them all. So again here, another, this is the adjective. What came after it is the word holiday, which is noun and singular. So we don't have another holiday before the end of the school year. Also, the adjectives other and the other go before a plural noun. Okay, so be, notice this, okay, be careful with that, that other and the other as adjectives go before a a plural, a plural noun and not singular one, okay? Be careful with that. The word other or the other as adjectives, what come after them is a plural noun, like the other students in the club don't agree with my decision. Again here, the word the other which is an adjective, what came after it, a noun, and the noun was plural. Not one student, but 
more than one student, okay? Plural, many. So the adjective, the other, and of course, students as noun came as plural, okay? So this, you have to be careful. It doesn't mean, when we say the, the word the other, it doesn't mean singular. Although when we were talking about it in the, when, in the case of being a pronoun, it was singular, okay? But here in the case of being an adjective, what comes after it is a, a, a plural noun, student. Also, some nations are fighting against global warming, but other countries are doing nothing. So, some nations, plural, we have here countries, and the word nations means countries, okay? So, again, sometimes you don't understand one word, and if you read the continuation of the sentence, you find the explanation uh, in the same sentence. The word nations or the word countries, they are the same. They are like synonyms. And we'll tackle this part deeply when we do our vocabulary lesson. So let's go back to our topic. It says here, other countries. So again, other as an adjective, the noun which uh, came after it is a, a plural one, okay, countries. Again, be careful that other, as an adjective, what comes after it is a plural noun and not singular one, okay? Also, in English, there are two other useful expressions. See here the word other, how did we use it? The word other they, as an adjective, came or preceded, came before or pre preceded the word expression. Okay? Plural. Okay? So we, we use other expressions with another and other. And these expressions are each other and one another. So, most of the time, we use each other and one another in different contexts, okay, contexts. So, when you talk to your friend or when you talk to more, more than one friend or when you talk about your friends in the class and so on. So, again, we use these expressions, which is each other. So, we use the word other. And, of course, another, again, with one another. And now we are going to look closer and find out more about that. Example one, we have, they write emails to each other almost every day. So here, they can be two or more than two people, okay? to each other. It means that one to one, okay? Each other means one to one. They can be two or three people and they, they, can, they are writing emails to each other. So each one is writing to the other, okay? So also, we see one another at work all the time. Again, how did we use one another? Also, it's more than one person can be two or more, and they see one another, okay? Again, these are expressions. Through usage, you will know when and how to use them, okay? So each other and one another, the always are used when, uh, when you talk about more than one person, okay? So you if you are talking about two or more, then you can use each other or one another, okay? But not if you are... If you are talking about one person, you can't say, or you can't use these two expressions. Example three, my husband and I are lucky because we love each other's families very much. Okay, so again, 
we are talking about more than one person, my husband and I, the husband and the wife, okay? That's why we use the pronoun we, and we are talking about the family of the husband and the family of the wife, okay? So that's why we, are, we use each other's family. And here we have the possessive case or apostrophe S because we are talking about the families of each person, of the husband and the wife. Okay? Your children should stop hitting each other and talk about your problems instead. Again, your children can be more than one. Of course, they should be more than one child if you have children. Okay? And so they stop hitting each other. So if there are two or more, they are hitting each other. And they should deal with or talk about your problems as a family. As the family problems, okay? So each other here means each child, okay? Or every child. Things to notice. So, again, you try to take care of the things we are going to mention now. And then we are going to have some exercises to practice. Number one, each other and one another means that one or more people are doing the same thing that other people are doing to or for them. And this is what we will say, what I, what I told you now, that it means that more than a person, more than one person, okay, they are doing the same thing, like, like writing each other emails, okay? So they are doing the same thing that other people are doing to or for them, okay? And of course, like uh, meeting one another, like liking each other's families and so on. So it's the same idea. So concentrate a bit with what is written and have a look at it carefully. When we use each other and one another in a sentence or if we use this expression, this means that I'm talking about more than one person which are doing the same thing that other people are doing to each other or for them, like what we said now, the example we gave now. Okay. Also, each other and one another are always used when you talk about more than one person. Again, look at the word more than one person. It's in, it's in italics and it's in different colors so, so that you understand that each other and one another means that I'm talking about more than one person. Okay. For example, you can't use each other when you are talking, when you are only talking about he or she. And of course here, he or she means one person. We didn't mean by saying he or she means a person by, by himself or herself. We said he or she means one person. So you can't use each other if you are talking about a person like the teacher or a student or the bus driver. You can't use any of these expressions. If you want to, talk, to use each other, then you have to, to talk about teachers, which is more than one teacher, or students, which is more than one student, or more than one bus driver. Okay, so be careful with that. Again, each other and one another often come after a verb or a preposition. What are prepositions? And the examples we have here is like to, with, or for, and the other prepositions you know. Okay? So each other and one another come after a verb or a preposition, like they talk to each other. They send emails to one another. They like each other uh, and so on. So they like each other, so the verb like and the expression each other came after that verb. They write to each other, 
or to one another. Again, write to. And here, of course, this is a phrase. Uh, to is the preposition. Uh, also, they. We have lots, lots, and lots of examples. Okay, so be careful when we say each other and one another that they come after a verb or a preposition. Okay. Also, each other and one another can come before a noun when you use the possessive and when we t when we say possessive means apostrophe s like the example which we ha which we looked at when we said the the husband and wife like each other's families okay so it means the family of of one of them okay so we have here when we talk about the possessive case, okay, something which belongs to somebody. So each other and one another can come before a noun. So they can come like each other's families, okay? So they came before the noun only when we talk about the possessive. Again, we can say one of the examples, they, uh, they saw each other's pictures or they uh, read each other's essay, okay? Now let's have a look at the exercises. Number one, the teacher asked us not to laugh at when we are speaking English. A, each other, B, them, C, the other, D, other. So, I'll just give you one minute to choose the correct answer. I read the, uh, uh, I'll read the sentence again. The teacher asked us not to laugh at when we are speaking English. A. Each other. B. Them. C. The other. D. Other. Yes, A, each other. Okay, number two. Space students were surprised by the teacher's reaction, but I wasn't. A, another. B, each other. C, one another's. And D, the other. Again, you have one minute to choose the correct answer. So number two says, students were surprised by the teacher's reaction, but I wasn't. A, another. B, each other. One, another's. And D, the other. Yes, what's the correct answer? Excellent, it's D, the other students. Remember when we said that the other as an adjective, what comes after it is a plural noun, students. Okay, so that's why I can't say another, and that's why I can't say each other, because after each other I can't put, of course, students. Okay, number three. The police have arrested one of the criminals since the robbery, but they haven't caught A, each other, B, the others, C, 
see one another's and the themselves. Number three, the police have arrested one of the criminals since the robbery, but they haven't caught A, each other, B, the others, C, one another's, and D, themselves. Be careful that we are, you have to, if you want to know the correct answer, say, see the blank space or the space refers to what? Replaces what? Okay, do you think that it's D themselves? and they haven't caught themselves? Do you think this makes sense? What do you think? Yeah, sure, it's completely wrong, okay? So the correct answer is going to be very good, the others, because the others as a pronoun replaces the criminals, more than one criminal, okay? So that's why this, the word B, the others, is the correct answer. Excellent. Number four, we are not speaking to since our fight at the party. A, us, B, the other, C, one another, and D, other. So number four says, we are not speaking to since our fight at the party. A, us, B, the other, C, one another, and D, other. In order to find the correct answer for this sentence, you, are going to, you have about two clues or two ways to know the, the correct answer. First, you have the plural we, so it means more than one person. And also, of course, here, our, again, more than one person. And also you have the clue preposition to. Try to remember what we said now. So you have one minute in order to think and find the correct answer. Look at the clues which I said which I talked about. We have we, and of course this means more than one person, and we have the preposition to. Yes? Very good. One another. It means that the, these people can be two people or three, and they had a fight at the party, so they aren't talking to one another, okay? Or to each other. Number five, the brilliant student is not allowed to help during the SIFA exam. A, them, B, others, C, the another, and D, each other. So number five says a brilliant student is not allowed to help during the SIFA exam. A, them, B, others, C, the another, and D, each other. So, what do you think? Can you say to help them? And of course, them will refer to what? Which noun? So, no, we can't say them. What about the, the other options? Is it B, C, or D? Think and try to find the correct answer. Okay, excellent to help others during the SIFA exam. Very good. And here others mean what? If we say others, then it means other students, 
Okay, so a brilliant student is not allowed to help or to talk to the students who are sitting be beside him, okay, or in front of him, or behind him, or wherever. So here others refer or replace the students, more students, okay, that's why we use the word others. And in this case, others here is a pronoun. Number six, it is sometimes easier for students to correct writing than it is to correct their own. So, A, each other, B, their, C, one another's, D, them. So, number six says, it is sometimes easier for students to correct writing than it is to correct their own. A, each other. B, their. C, one another's. And D, them. Be careful here. If you want to find the correct answer, there is a clue, which is writing. Here, the word writing. It means the writing of the students. Okay? So this is a possessive. So I think I gave you the clue to find the correct answer. Very good. C. One another's writing. Okay? So it means that the writing of each student. So of course sometimes and I think your teacher, uh, your teachers uh, do that with you in the class when you do some writing and other students or the other students help to correct them. So it's easier for them. So we have here writing. Okay. So it's the writing of the students. Very good. Number seven. Treating with respect is often difficult when people live together in a crowded city. A, one another, B, they, C, each others, and D, other. So again, number seven, treating with respect is often difficult when people live together in a crowded city. So, what's the correct answer? One another. A. Very good. Treating one another with respect is often difficult when people live together in a crowded city. Again, here, one another is the same as each other. Okay? And again, we are talking about people. So, it's plural. Number eight. The teacher asked the students to correct mistakes. A, one another, B, others, C, another, and D, each others. The teacher asked the students to correct mistakes. Again, the clue here is that we are talking about mistakes. And so, the mistakes which the students did, okay? So, again, I'm talking about something which they belong to somebody, okay? So again, possessive. So, what do you think the correct answer is going to be? Is it one another? Is it others? Is it another? Is it each other? Excellent. It's D, each, others. So, the answer is going to be, or the sentence is going to be like that. The teacher asked the students to correct each other's mistakes. The mistake which the students did. Number eight.
Number nine, she doesn't know why her friends don't write to anymore. A, one another, B, other, C, her, and the, the other. So number nine says, she doesn't know why her friends don't write to anymore. A, one another, B, other, C, hers, D, the others. Again, be careful, we have the preposition to, and this can be a clue. Also, we have friends, which is the plural. It means more than one friend. So, what do you think the correct answer would be? Very good. One another. Okay? It's the same as each other. Number 10. Ahmed and his cousin Amal are going to meet with to decide on a topic for the research. A. One another. B. The other. C. Other. D. Each others. Again, Ahmed and his cousin Amal are going to meet with to decide on a topic for their research. One another, the other, other, and each others. Again, the clue, the clue here is that we have Ahmed and his cousin. Again, we have the preposition with. Yeah, so the correct answer is going to be one another. So it's like Ahmed and his cousin Amal are going to meet with one another to decide on a topic for their research. So in our lesson today, we looked at each other, one another. Okay, also we looked at other the other, others, and uh, another, and we knew that these words are used as pronouns and also as adjectives. We knew how to use them in a sentence and when to put them in each sentence, and I hope that things are clearer and easier by now. By this, we come to the end of our third lesson. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Looking forward to meeting you in the coming lesson. Bye.